Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibious Season 2 Episode 14 and this is a double segment and it's called The First Temple but this isn't like the whole thing like you know how sometimes when it's like a double segment episode it will show like the whole entire episode with all the scenes. This doesn't do that but it's a double segment anyway and I'm very glad that it is. And, um, and it's not midnight yet, and so I'm really glad I'm getting this done. This was supposed to come out earlier in the afternoon, but I had, you know, something, you know, to do, so, and also had to do laundry, and I need to do laundry again also tonight, you know, it's, you know important, important stuff is very important. But, um, I'm gonna, you know, Get, get this done and before we see more Marcy walking in yeah Marcy's in this episode which is cool um yeah because we left off in after the rain where lots of was revealed I wish that was a double episode but you know it is what it is excuse me <clears throat> and um you know a lot, a lot of secrets were revealed and stuff like that lot, you know cool action uh, Sprig putting down his goggles and stuff like that um these um what's it like the magpie people or whatever like stealing stuff I, again while well, I watched that review I did it um yeah yesterday and um so yeah this is episode 14 the first temple we're we're finally here and um Anything else I want to say first before I start? Oh yeah, because um I was planning on doing two extra videos or reviews along with you know today um um oh yeah because um I was gonna do two you know extra videos because of the you know like. It was like a day where I didn't post a video. I'm still trying to make up for that, so I wanted to do like an extra video during the weekend along with my annual video. And also, today's Easter. But because this is like a double segment, it's going to take more of my time. So I'm, I'm only planning on doing like one extra video if I have time, even if it's like gets like past midnight, which is going to be like a, like like eight or so minutes or something. But, um,. So yeah, I'm gonna you know record and you know post the the, the first temple and then um I'm, hmm maybe Big City Green season two episode sixteen maybe maybe or maybe I'll just do my Sonic two review oh no I I, I still need to also I need to do a it's been like well like a month like since my I went back to my first channel. But then still do like a monthly update. Uh, not not monthly update. Um, to do a um, what's it called? Um, a channel update that I'm gonna do chapter reviews on. Uh, and it's only gonna be one, even though I've been doing one. I said I was gonna do two because that was like the plan. Things that didn't go according to plan, but I'm only doing planning on doing one chapter, and I'm gonna do it from Mondays from now on. So I'm gonna do my one chapter you know, tomorrow Monday. So. Hopefully that works out. Um, yeah, and that channel update was supposed to come out last weekend. I don't know. I, I, I'm very behind with like, that channel. But um, but before I get that done, I want to get this done. So first things first. Um, sorry, I heard something. Um, first things first, we get to outside of the planter's house and we have the kids, you know, uh, like, um, sitting at the, the kitchen table and Hop Hop's making, what was it, chocolate pea pancakes? It's like a bug, but it's like a chocolate bug. It is cool. <laughs> it is, it's also kind of gross. And it's like, oh, chocolate pea pancakes, Hop Hop, you never make those. It's like, yeah, well, I'm just trying to make up for, like, you know, for, like, um... Um, like, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, make up for, like, what, what, what happened. And it, Sprick's like, oh, you mean, like, you know, you lied to Anne about, like, you know, burying the music box. But I think Sprick kind of, uh, maybe I'm misremembering, but I think Sprick, like, interrupted him. 
don't do that, don't, don't do that, and it was like, oh, and it's where he's like, oh, I'm so glad, and, and forgave you, and then, you know, and then Paul's like, Sprinkle, come on, why you have to mention that, Paul's like, and Sprinkle's like, what? Excuse me. And then, Anne's just cutting up her pancakes to the, 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 the eat a piece, and then Hop Hop's kind of like, 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 you know, very nervous, and he's like, okay. And then Anne just looks at him, and Hop Hop looks at her, <laughs> and Hop Hop's like, I hope you like pancakes, and then Anne's like, oh yeah, and he's like, I, you know, spent all, you know, night, you know, mixing of up to the crack of dawn, like, you know, um, like, you know, uh, making it special for you to make up for it, and he's like, oh great, and then we hear, like, a, like, a noise outside, or, like, a, not, not a knock on the door, I think it was a noise. Some noise, yeah. I, I think it was like squawk or something. And Hop Hop's like, I'll get the door. And, and it's like, Thank Frog, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. And then, and Hop is like, Oh my goodness, a, a giant window. Oh, wait, sorry, no. Um, he's like, Oh, kids, come look at this. And it's like a giant bird with a sack of books. And like, Oh, that's from like the, the trailer. And then, and Hop Hop's like, Oh my goodness, there's a giant bird with a sack of books because everything's so dangerous in the world. And this bird, um, well, I, th I think it's a, I think it's a sparrow. Yeah, I think this species of bird is a sparrow. And the sparrow has like a s scar on its eye, so Hop Hop thinks it's dangerous, but oh, it's books. Like, what's that? What the heck? And then Marcy's like, oh, hey, planters. Like, hey, Anne. It's oh, Marcy, you're here. And then, um, Joe, like, uh, 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 that's his name, by the way. I guess it's like, no, need to keep it a secret. But Joe basically, like, you know, um, while walks away and, um, and the like, hugs Marcy. Oh, Marcy, I can't believe you're here. And then, and then Marcy's like, oh, I can't wait. Then, yeah, I, I wait so long to see you, Anne. He's like, oh, is this your house? It was like first century. Oh, no, it's second century. It's like, oh, dang, the, the planter household is so old. And he's like, oh, it's so rusty, rust, blah, rustic and cute. Like, oh, oh, my goodness. And then, like, you know, and then, um, and then, you know, Anne's like, well, Mar Marcy focused, like, like, you, did, did you want to, because you sent this message to get to the temple. So, oh, yeah, I figured some stuff out, and we are, I, I, tra I triangulated, like, the first temple, and I got all the supplies ready for us to go, and I studied this, you know, this ancient language that's going to help us along the way. And she's all pumped up, like a video game. Yeah, yeah. And said, oh, yeah, sorry, um, it's a long flight, you know, all pent up energy, and want to get it used. And then, you know, it, ha and, sorry, not Anne, um, Marcy's like, okay, music box, please. And when she said that, I'm like, Hop, Hop knew stuff about the box, and Marcy knows about stuff about the box. Marcy went to the library wing, King with the proposition. Is it a good idea to give her the box? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I was so nervous. Especially since, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, i am taking a point off because there was a thing on Twitter where Marcy kind of looked devious. There's a thing with Marcy this episode, but it's nothing devious. She just gets hyper fixated on stuff and it kind of makes her block out things like of her, of her surroundings. But it doesn't make her like evil, but it kind of looks like a, <laughs> everyone's like my pawn. It's like bow to me, like you're the cockroaches on my feet or whatever. Like, I don't know, that, that face kind of... I, I don't know, I just kind of was expecting something with Marcy where I'm like, ooh, Marcy has kind of like a dark side, and that's kind of interesting, kind of like Sasha, and kind of like Anne a, a little bit, like, like if it's Anne showed it, not as much as Sasha, but Anne showed it a little bit, so um, that will be kind of interesting, but Marcy didn't really show that, she just showed that she blocks out people's voices when she's really into something, which isn't really what I had in mind for like Devious, would you even call that Devious? I don't know, but with that poster like on your know, Twitter kind of deceived me and um I don't know I didn't want that but anyway and then Marcy's like oh music box please and then you know um and handed her the music box and then Sprague's like um good thing she didn't show up a couple days ago and Pa's like you gotta stop this Sprague and then you know, and then Marcy's like huh okay like it, she pressed some buttons and and it made some this key starts turning and we place this music. I was like, oh, and the calamity gems turn. They pop open. She grabs one, which is like for the um the wit gem one, the green the green one. And it 
the, the gems pop back into place and, and then she hands the box to Hot Poppy. She, Mar Marcy doesn't know what's going on. Oh, here you go. And then Hot Poppy's like, I probably shouldn't. And Marcy's like, hmm? And it's like, don't worry about it. Like, don't ask questions. And then Marcy's like, okay, let's hop on to, uh, oh, oh, Joe. And she's like, oh, Joe Sparrow. And I guess Joe is hitting on Bessie the snail. Remember the family snail from, like, um, what's it called? Um, Anne Teptado. Um, you know, Bessie's like the family snail. And, and I guess they're both, like, flirting at each other, doing, like, a mating dance. It's very weird. I don't know if snails and, um, bir don't, don't birds eat snails? I don't know. But they're flirting with each other. <laughs> and then, um, Marcy's like, leave that poor snail alone, Joe. And he's like, okay. And, like, your best is going blushing and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Is that okay? It's going, Joe. And then Marcy goes in, Anne goes in, Sprig and Polly kind of squeeze. Polly's, like, on top of either Sprig or... And I, I think it might be Sprague. And then Hop Hop's like, well, where do I go? Like, and I'm just looking at the trailer. So why is the bird holding down to Hop Hop from its feet? Or I guess his, because his name is Joe. Uh, that's why, there's no room. He's like, ah! And then he's like, okay, we're, we're getting near the, the first temple, everyone. Like, you know, it's a, it's, you know, not too long of a flight, but it was a little bit long. So hopefully guys didn't wait too long, but we're getting nearer. We'll get more near. And then, oh, you sure we're ready for this? It's like, well, it's dangerous. I, I, I researched it. And it says that no frog, newt, or toad has ever survived it. And Mars is like, well, the temple's never survived me before. I was it like I'm captain of the chess team or something. And like, number one, D D and d And, um, uh, other stuff. And she's like, I got an F in PE, but that's only because I was like studying and stuff like that. Oh, I'm a straight A student. Which we kind of saw in Marcy at the Gates, where she's like a straight A student. But she plays video games, so she gets very distracted. But, um... And then you, and then Anne brings up, hey Marcy, you get really hyper fixated on stuff. We're here to help. Like, you know, don't like tune us out like you always do. And then, we're just like, what do you mean? And you get like a flashback. Like, what, what do you mean? And you see like, um... Or she's going to hyperfix it on her, like, Nintendo Switch and, like, doing, like, Flappy Bird or something. And then, oh, I'm getting this high score, and Anne's like, I'm so happy for you. And because Marcy's getting, like, frozen, frozen yogurt, and Anne has, like, the help, and all these frozen, frozen yogurt, it's everywhere. Oh, my goodness. This like, a, this kind of got me interested. It's like a Peter Pan, a Peter Pan play, and Anne's Peter Pan, and Sasha is Captain Hook, and Marcy's supposed to be, like, the... Like, you know how you, you like, um, in this, back at the stage, you had the, I forgot what it's called, where you lowered the rope and stuff like that? Excuse me. Um, so that's Marcy's job, but it's a like flying rope. Marcy! And Sasha and Captain Hook, if you remember, Captain Hook lost his hand. Um, is Sasha gonna lose her hand? Not like her arm or anything, but just her hand by Anne? Or, is that, I don't think a crocodile? It could be a crocodile, but um, it might, might, might be Anne. Who knows? Because, <laughs> because this is the only time we ever see um, Sasha in this episode, but it was like in a flashback. And I'm like, did he want us to focus that she was playing Captain Hook? Maybe, maybe not. Anne was flying as Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Uh, Peter Pan. Is she going to fly? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe she'll have a magic shadow, too. <laughs> um... Um... What else? Um... Okay. And then, you know, and then, oh, don't worry, I won't forget it, you guys. Um, Pepeni Sprout? Uh, but no, not, not, not Sprout. Um... Um... Yeah, 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 Pepeni Sprout, and it's like Polly Sprig. And I, oh my goodness. Um... But I'm just trying to remember, has she said Polly or Sprig's name before? Because I wonder if I should take a point off for that. Hold on, just trying to, trying to remember. Um. Hmm. 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 
<laughs> Trying to remember. Yeah, I don't think she has. I think she said Poliwog once, but but like that's really it. So I, I think I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. It's a oh the you know a penny sprout is a poly spray. Oh, oh come on, I'm sorry. Like come on, I won't I won't let, I won't let you guys down. And then and say okay, just don't don't forget about us. And then uh, don't let us down. And then Hoppus like I wouldn't mind being let down because you know he's like being terrified, you know, held by the talons of Joe Sparrow. And we come up, we're coming up to um something for us. I forgot the name. And then um. Joe Sparrow goes in the landing, throws Hop Hop, and he's like on this like mushroom fungi or b b brain mushrooms, and he's like, "I'm upside down." Yes, Hop Hop, and he's like, "Oh, don't worry, HP, we'll get you down." And then, pfft, he, he, and then he was like, "Oh," and he's like, "Oh, what what are those things?" And Mars is like, "Oh, those are brain mus mushrooms," and then, um, Anne's like, "Oh, brain mushrooms, like, like for like the like the brain temple, the intelligence temple, the little on the nose, what you think?" But you can't really complain because this is the natural environment and this is how it grows and you can't really complain about being too on the nose because it fits perfectly so mm. but um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what happens next and it's like hey I did um and what was it like poly your spray poly that like you really overhyped this place and it's like a bathroom at a house oh my goodness um Here's the thing, they have bathrooms like this, so why did Polly think this was the first temple? And did, even Sprinkle went, went in there and saw the toilet. It's an outhouse, it's an outhouse. Well, yeah. So that was kind of weird of Polly to, you know, to say that. But, um, is it like, okay, come on guys, let's go in. And Anne and Hop Hop had to, oh, I, I forgot to mention of how back in After the Rain, I thought Anne forgave Hop Hop too quickly. Now they're kind of back where they started where the arguing and stuff like that um hmm yeah to take another point after that because why didn't Anne just say that you know uh, I'm not fully forgiving you yet but I'm coming with you guys because you know families you know stick together but now Anne's like oh like saying I forgive you now she's like no I don't like eh why are you going backwards? This is the way to go, but back in After the Rain, you should change the wording. But there is a line that kind of justifies it a little bit, but there's also another word that kind of doesn't. But I'll get to it when I get to it. But I didn't hop up. I was like, oh, after you, my dear, because they're both about to open the door at the same time, but neither of them wants to get in the other's way because Anne doesn't want to get in the way of Hop Up keeping his family safe, and Hop Up doesn't want to get in, get in the way of Anne getting home. Because both of them kind of interfered with that in their own mindset, so that's kind of interesting. And oh, after you, my dude. Oh no, after you, my dude. And then Mars is like, um, I'm sensing tension. Did something happen? And then Polly and Sprague say at the same time, don't ask. And then you, know, they both. I forgot. Maybe it's like Mars. They both. They open it. She, she opens it, and they go inside. And it's like, whoa. And he's like, okay, here we go. And then um, when they walk in, you see this thing like part of a carving and if you focus on it you you kind of see that um uh, it's like the same carving that's at the end of the intro you basically if you you know crop out um the word amphibia there's like a thing at the in like the mural like like the very last scene of the um intro before you see like the title card like just get rid of the title amphibia then you see something i won't talk about like what that is until that comes up in like in the show so or maybe I should talk about here mm, nah I I'll talk about it when it actually comes up in the show but um but anyway so that is kind of interesting if you you recognize that thing oh why is it so familiar it's at the end of the intro so that's pretty cool and it's like oh, well, there's nothing here and then Marcy's kind of like um Oh, come on let's look around for clues and um and it says like oh you know welcome traveler like you know you seek to charge like the witch gem 
and look, you know, um, you know, be careful because there's a bunch of challenges and traps and you must complete all of them to charge the sun. I probably totally said that wrong, but that's what I remember. And they're looking around and it's like, hey, look at this cube. I found the puzzle. And this sphere, like, you know, um, grabs Anne. And did um, how about like, oh no, it's some green energy force that, um, from horrible magic. Excuse me. And then, um... And then Marcy's like, no, it's, a, it's an energy field. And Hop is like, isn't that what I said? <laughs> it's kind of similar. Science and magic are kind of like one and the same, so, you know. And then, and then Marcy's like, oh, I know what it is. And Anne's like, okay, then here you go, marbles. Like, it's all yours. And Anne kind of falls. And then Marcy's like, ooh, just like a, a zillion different like um, ways of solving the puzzle. Oh, I, like, I, I'm, I'm going to solve like the correct way of doing it. And Marcy moves like a tile, like a row, and it moves like the row. And this way it's like about to throw up. Is anyone feeling chocolate chip pancakes right now? And then Marcy and Anne's like, hey Marcy, look, tell us when you're gonna move like the, the, the tile so we can get ready. But Marcy's not focused. She's not focused on Anne, she's focused on the game, so it's kinda like her toxic flaw kind of in a way. Because um the creator Matt Brawley says that each character has like a toxic flaw, so this is Marcy's basically. I don't think I, <clears throat> I don't think I mentioned it before because we have I don't think we haven't met Marcy yet and this hasn't really come up, so since it's coming up, I wanna mention it. Um yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Yeah. Um and then Marcy's like moving around and like, you know, a bunch of towels going away trying to kill the planters, but not not really. And they're getting out of the way. It's ah and then Marcy solves it. I think it took like 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 five to mm, ten minutes maybe. I don't know. Because she said it's a zillion, but she's moving it pretty quickly, but um and the planters are like are dodging it a lot, so who knows? Like maybe eight minutes. And then Mars is like, woohoo, and it, pff, she like smashes a cube. I'm like, oh my goodness. But, um, that wasn't your property, Mercy. Yeah, I might have to take a point off for you. I don't know. Sorry, um, I've been shading a little while, so I'm still feeling a little scruffle. So sorry if I'm, you know, you know, like, you know, rubbing against my beard. I'm sorry. But um, trying to focus, I'm trying to focus. But um, and so like you know, and Marcy's like, oh, you know, oh, get ready, Temple, you're gonna be charged. Like, and everyone's kind of hop up. It's like, whoa, like you know, she gets the results done, but she's you know, kind of is a bit overconfident. And like, yes, that's what we're seeing. And Anne's like, ugh, like it's, it's what I warned her about. The the Nika too, like Anne's like, oh, it's a dance floor. And Marcy's like, not quite. She does a rock at the, um, was it, like, the blue tile, and poof, it crushes you. And she's like, okay. She tries the pink one. Poof, and it incinerates you. I would say pink or magenta. And then, Anne's like, okay, blue is death by crushing. Pink is death by flame. Hmm. And then Marcy just jumps in. But she's done the research, and poof, green is, like, the right color. Um, and, um, and there's only, only, like, two green squares. Marcy hits one. He's like, oh, my goodness. And it's like, oh, why hasn't the... Oh, and, and, um, not and. Marcy's like, oh, green is the color... Oh, right, sorry, but there was, like, um, a message there. I forgot to mention. Remember where, um, there was, like, a message that went all across in, in the trailer? This is where this is, like, the dance floor. And it says, uh, oh, um... It says, um, don't be jealous of my hue, which is like a color, the hue is a type of color. Um, and they say, oh, hue, it's, it's, it's the color of envy, like it's green. And then Hop Hop's like, I have a lot of green friends, so we'll, <laughs> they'll find that offensive. And then, you know, it's like, oh, like, there's one more green tile, you got one of you has to step on it. And it's like, Marmar, are you sure? And then Spritz like, yeah. And Polly's like, well, what if I got spikes on it? And then Hop Hop's like, not helping Polly. And Marcy's like, guys, I've done the research. And this is all about, like, about trust. Um, wh When I first saw this episode and I saw that poster, I'm like, can we trust Marcy? Because I'm thinking Marcy's kind of going to use everyone like pawns. And she's going to make that look in the poster. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But 
doesn't happen, whatever. Uh, she does it in her own way, but whatever. Is it weird for me to want her to kind of be like an antagonist a little bit? I don't know, maybe it's just me. <clears throat> but um, basically it's like, and you know, Spring probably kind of nervous, but Anne and Hoppus say at the same time, I'll do it, like I'll jump on it. And Hoppus like, excuse me? And Hoppus like, no, and this whole point of charging the stones is get you home alive. I had a good life. Oh my goodness. And then Anne's like, no, my this is my quest. This is my journey. It's my responsibility. This is Anne's growth in season one and season two. Is about learning responsibility and becoming more mature. And I really like that. She's like, it's my responsibility. And your responsibility is to keep your family safe. Kind of like not including her. And Rick's like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then um, Hoppa's like, I care about you too, Anne. And Anne's like, well, to an extent, right? You proved that by burying the calamity box. And Hoppa's like, Anne, that is not fair. <clears throat> and um, and then Marcy's like, um. Oh, wait, I forgot. And it's like, well, Hop Hop, it's fine. You made a choice. Like, you, you, it was a choice and you made it. But let's, like, you, you know, I, I'm okay with it, but let's not pretend I'm part of the family, okay? But the ends hurt because Hop Hop called her adopted granddaughter and then he does something like this. Because this is kind of in a way where, I, I don't think I mentioned it back in After the Rain, but maybe with Anne's feeling, I kind of felt it too, where I want to keep my family safe by bearing the box. So he's saying that, I care about Sprig and Polly a little bit more than I care about you because if you cared about Anne as much as Sprig and Polly, he would have buried it. He would have buried it, yes, but he would have told Anne the truth because it wasn't the fact that Hop Up buried it that upset Anne. It was the fact that Hop Up lied about it and he knew about it. So like you know, he's like, oh, you care about Sprig and Polly, then you care about me. Like you know, I mean, it's fine. I'm fine with that, but you know, I, I thought it was different. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I need to drink some water a little bit later. But, um... <clears throat> um... Hmm. What happens next? And then Mars is like, um, can someone... Is everyone okay over there? Up there? Can someone hit the button? And Hoppa said, gladly. And a one and a two. And Andrew shows out of the way and jumps on the thing. And then Paul said, get it, girl. And then... Pff, she lands at the towel, but she accidentally clicks the pink one. Poof, fire. She accidentally hits the blue one. Ah, it spikes in. She's like calling her against herself like, ah. And, <laughs> um, and then she's like, ha And then like, you know, it, all the towels become green. So everyone can like step on it. Sorry, excuse me. Um. And they say, oh, everyone, like, oh, wow, that was so cool. And Anne's like, wow, I can't believe you jumped that far. And then Anne's like, I think I lost the eyebrow. She didn't, but she thought she did. And, and Hop Up's like, hmm. And then, like, you know, Hop Up and Anne are both the last ones to leave the room, the second trial. And then Hop Up's like, Anne, I thought I told you I wanted to press it. And then Anne's like, I told you that I didn't want you to. And then Sprig and Polly, Sprig's like, guys, we need to stay alive for this final task. Can we not argue? And then, you know, and Hop Up's like, I don't understand, Anne. I thought you forgave me. And Anne's, this is the line where I'm kind of thinking, and it's like, maybe I spoke too soon. But the fact that she said maybe, not like, I spoke too soon, Hop Hop. And it's like, okay, then that justifies for after the rain. But she said maybe. What do you mean maybe? Whatever. Um, it's a whole conundrum of a situation. But um, maybe if it was in hand, answer Hop Hop's shoes. Maybe I would understand better, but who knows? Um, and then you know, um, and then there's like a you know, if you remember SpongeBob, there's like this some um, sign that says like oh like six hours later, so it's like it says like um it was like one hour or two hours like later, and then, you know, and then Hop Up's like so there's nothing you can do, and it's not one, and also in the SpongeBob like type of thing, there's like pictures of Sprig, kind of, in a way. So that was kind of funny. And he wasn't wearing his hat, so you can see his little tub of red hair, so that was pretty cute. But, um... And, so Hop was like, there's nothing I can do. And Anne's like, nothing's coming to mind. And, and Sprig's like, this is a very long hallway. And then Marcy's like, hey guys, look, I found it. 
and Mars is trying to read it, and and Hop Up are yelling, and then Mars is like, "Guys, you're killing the vibe. Thank you." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, look, you know, this is your final challenge," and she goes in, and this is where it is. Oh, oops. Guess I've been talking for a while. And I just love the we already know what's gonna happen. I was like, we see this chess piece. So I'm like, when I first saw this, I was like, is this Flipwort? And everyone like, you know, comes in. Oh wait, 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 did I miss something? Oh, never mind. And then Marcy's like, oh, it's Flipwort. And then Anne's like, well, what's Flipwort? I'm like, Anne, this is like the third time you forgot something. It was the leaves in your hair. It was the um the calamity Jones uh, the the Jones the calamity stones colors and now Flipboard Grime told you in reunion he told you it's like a it, and you know what Anne should have said Re rewrite rewrite Mars is like oh it's Flipboard and it's like oh I heard about Flipboard back you know after the events of Toe Tower where Sasha and I had our fight and you see Anne kind of get a little sad from it and Mars kind of. You know, research reassures her and puts her hand on Anne's shoulder and kind of maybe wipes her tears by saying, hey, "It's okay, I'm fine." But you're saying this is gonna like, come back later in a future episode. I think it would have been kind of cool. But then she goes in. I remember Captain Grime talking about um, Flipboard, kind of like a game for like the superior in the intellect, other than bog jump. And then Marcy's like, "Yeah," but and it's like I don't really like fully understand it. So that's where Marcy comes and explains the entire rules of Flipboard. There you go. You prove Anne can remember things, and you also prove that Marcy can explain it fully. There you go. Best of both worlds. But Anne's proof. I don't say Anne's being proven that it's a dumb dumb, but oh my goodness. I think my line would have been kind of better, especially since Anne is talking about Sasha a lot. This would have been a good time to mention her, and only briefly. I don't know. But Marcy's like, um, and you we get to see a flipboard board. That's pretty cool. And he's like, oh, it was a chest to the max. And she's like, I even beat King Andreas. And I'm like, hmm. She might. She's really intelligent. So who knows? But maybe he's faking it. And then even Hoppus said, oh, King Andreas. That's very impressive, Marcy, because King Andreas is one of the best and formidable football players all across Amphibia, especially in, in Utopia. And, like, you know, she opens a. Hold on. Was there a door handle? Hold on a second. There's no door handle here. Trickery. Trickery. But she's like, oh, and I really like the pieces. They look really cool. It's like, oh, like, you know, um, you have these two um shooters that can only go in a straight line. It's like, oh, I love this game. And I love how yeah, I really like this architecture. This looks really cool. I wish I could show the whole temple, but I can't. And I really like the, the, you know, the crown for, like, the, the, for, like, the wart. And are these alms? This, this looks like the twins from Quarler's Pass. You know, back in season one where the Sprig and Polly episode. That's kind of interesting. And Hop Up's like, hey, Marcy, well, what does this say? And I want to play this right here. And so I kind of want to, you know, to get her voice a little bit in. And I like how she's like, you can read the, like, the language. And she's like, you know, if your commander falls, you're not allowed to set, step into the temple walls. So that means the rest can go in, but Marcy can't because Marcy is like the commander. She's the one who's solving the challenges. Marcy's been basically doing everything. Except for Anne doing that second tile, basically. And then, you know, um, and she's like, I guess we'll sit this one out. And Paul's like, yeah, like, yo, these flippers be, ti be tired. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And we have this, like, little, like, um, night dude. <laughs> and, um, and Polly disappears. So, like, oh my goodness, Polly, where'd you go? And we, um, get a giant flipwort set. And look at the hair in here. This looks cool. It, it looks very cool. And then, um, Polly appears. Polly, you okay? She's like, yeah, fools. Like, she's got a full body armor. I love it. 
I, I got a sword. And this is kind of interesting also. There's another clip I want to play, so and I don't think we can only do two clips, so I can't really play this one. Uh, maybe I should have done this one, but who knows. Decisions. But Anne's like, Marcy, this is very dangerous. Maybe we should call this off. And this is kind of interesting. Marcy says, Marcy says, you want to go home, right, Anne? Then we have to play or we'll never recharge the stone. You didn't say we? You... Hmm... Interesting. We have no idea what the proposition is. You get to, you get to say in Amphibia. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Because why didn't you say we? <laughs> and even Hop was like, she's got a point. And it's like, I didn't ask your opinion, Hop Hop. Okay, geez, Anne. And, and then, you know, Anne's like, I hope you know what you're doing. And like, you know, um, you know, then Spring and Hop Hop go. And then, Hoppa's like, oh, cool, I guess Scepter. <laughs> and Paul is like, haha, you're a pawn. I was like, oh, geez. And Spring has like a spear. Is it, and then Marcy's like, okay, Anne, you're, it's a good chance that you're next. And Anne's kind of nervous. And you get the entire, like, flip horse set. And then Anne's like, oh, I guess I won't be playing. Good luck, you guys. And I just love the architecture here and, like, the, like, the reflection of the. Um, the in the shadowing of the the flipboard checkerboard, and and the, look at Anne's on a heron. <laughs> oh no! And then Spring's like, oh no, Anne, and Paul's like, traitor. It is a little bit like traitory uh, from my Polly's perspective. And then Anne's like, oh, this, this is good. I like her armor; it looks really cool. Haha! Like you didn't think about this temple, huh? Sabotage. But look, she has these magical restraints on, and so do, do the rest of the planters, so they don't cheat. And then, like, you know, and then, um, and Marcy's like, oh, don't worry, everyone, I'll just, you play, like, super hard mode. And Spring's like, you wouldn't be saying that if you were the pawn. <laughs> true, very true. And she's like, okay, Temple, let's flip this wart. And then, you know, this guy moves, and Spring's like, you got this, buddy. It's very interesting doing, like, this 4D type of chess. You flip board. And this guy moves and, you know, um, and then it just decimated this guy. <laughs> and so he's like, I don't want to play anymore because you can die here. And then Mars is like, okay, amateur move, huh, Temple? And then, you know, um, <laughs> and Paul is like, like swinging his sword and it's pretty like dodging and stuff like that. And it's Anne's trying to sabotage as much as he can, but by not hitting the, her like, um, like her team, because she's still with the planters, even though she's on, on, on the other side of the flipboard board. So she's trying not to hit it, but she can't help it. And Hoppa just hits it slightly and poof. And Mars is sweating, and look how everyone's beat up. And he's like, oh, this sounds good, but it can't match me. It's, yes, we won. I was like, oh, okay. And it jumps, I was like, oh, is it cheating? This. When I first saw this, I was like, I don't like this. This is supposed to be like an ancient temple that would ruins and prophecies and, and carving stuff like that and magical gems. This is very well expecting to like for like for like when a kid would make a temple making these like like projections of a ha 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 like you thought you captured me, but I as you can say like blowing like a raspberry. Not an ancient temple. I know maybe the creators want to be funny. I'm not laughing. It even smacks his butt. I like Marcy's face like, in very anime. Oh, this thing cheats. And then, and it's coming after Hop Hop, but not really. And she's like, oh no. And then Hop Hop's like, man, what a day. And it's pretty like, Marcy, do something. It's like, okay, so what this thing cheats? And this is like from the trailer when she like hit the board. So this is from this. It's like, and, um, she's, like, moving the hop-hop piece so Anne doesn't kill him. And uh, this is, you know, the heartbreak. Hop-hop's like, oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? And then Anne's like, no, I'm mad at you, but I don't want to hurt you. And then Hop-hop's like, you're already hurting me. And I just want to play this right here.
Sorry, I just don't want to play too much. But he's like, oh, you're hurting me, Anne. You're rubbing in my face at how much I let you down. Like, and like, uh, what was the other thing he said? Um, Like, reminding me of the mistakes I made. What's it going to take for you to let this go? And Anne's kind of like, um, um. And Hop was like, tell me, don't do it, anything. Because, I, because Hop Hop wants everything to go back to the way it was. And I'm like, Hop Hop, things aren't going to go back to the way things. Uh, there are even sometimes points in my life, I'm getting a little personal, where I think things would be better if things were to go back to things. I'm saying it wrong. Of going back to the way things were. I probably butchered that so badly. Um, there's even... Again, like, I'm past that point, but there were certain points in my life where I'm like, maybe if it did something different, maybe this part of my life, this, like, a certain year of my middle school life, um, maybe it would have gone better. Who knows? I mean, it happened, it's past, I can't time travel, and I wouldn't time travel because <laughs> it would be terrible. Um, I don't, I don't even know where I would start with time travel. Oh my goodness. But, so yeah, I kind of, you know, relate to Hop Hop a little bit here, but that's my little personal thing. And like, you know, and then Anne's like, I don't know, Hop Hop. And then this is where Marcy kind of fixated. Marcy's a little bit like loose in the situation where I think I mentioned this to Marcy at the gates where loose needs to like have someone directly tell you in your face to like stop doing what you're doing and actually mean it because they're just like not paying attention. This is where Anne had to yell for Marcy to actually pay attention. Even her eyes like shift a little bit like, oh. Anne's like in trouble, kind of like Marcy at the gates, where Marcy's like, Anne, you don't know what you're talking about, like, I just need to do this, I need to say spray. Anne had to grab onto Marcy's arm saying, I don't want to lose you again, and Marcy's like, oh, Anne's being serious, Anne doesn't want to see me get hurt. So Marcy understands. Marcy understands now, because Anne yelled. This is the only way to get Marcy's attention. Because Marcy isn't heartless or anything, but Marcy just needs to, someone just to get get her attention and like in a not just a oh marcy's like kind of stop like in a somber voice no you need to have like a big voice but that that's just what i've been seeing throughout the show maybe it's wrong but like I, i've like kind of gone the wrong context for me but this is what has been seen in the show at least to me i don't think i mentioned it but i really like her show right here and and, and the ends like hop hop i need time Please, I want things to go back to the things w w that's words. And then I love this hop hop's like, I'm really sorry, Anne. You take all the time that you need. And then and, and hop hop's like, maybe it's better to just submit that we still have issues instead of just pretending that they don't exist. And it's like, I, I really appreciate that hop hop. Thank you for letting me have my time. I hug you. I'll hug you, but. Magical restraints. And Marcy's kind of looking. So he's like, he had a family. A family. Do the, do the magic restraints go away? Oh, I think the magical restraints probably go if you're gonna, like, do the like, sabotage. Because I, I think everyone was on board for the sabotage, sabotage thing. But because Spring was kind of doing something else, I think the magical restraints, like, let it go. I'm thinking willing to accept that. But look at this flipboard piece. Look at the rust, rustic shading right here. Looks really cool. Yeah, the family. <laughs> and Polly. I love Polly so much. Wah! And then Mars is like, what am I doing? What the heck am I doing? And then Anne's about to kill Hop Hop. And Mars is like, who cares about this stupid game? I forfeit. I guess I had to flip the big war too. And remember from the trailer of the, the, the um, pieces like shooting at Marcy? This is from here. And it, it did. Um, Spriggy like the, um, blocks it with like his shield, the lasers. So that's pretty cool. And Spriggy's like, Mar what's going on, Marcy? I'm trying to throw this stupid game, but it won't let me. Hey, I can need your help. <laughs> she just chucks him. And it just, you know, bounces the frog. And then, oh, oh this looks like a cool design. And... It explodes and Marcy kind of like uh, grovels in defeat and everyone's kind of like um like, like whoa and like you know um 
pop up black eyes like go away i don't know i might be able to let it go but whatever and it and more importantly and it's like marcy why'd you do that hop pop's like yeah why'd you throw the game in? and marcy's like it wasn't worth you guys getting hurt i i was so caught up in the game i wasn't afraid i was so caught up in the game i was gonna lose you guys i wasn't paying attention to that and then Spring's like, you're in your defense, like, you know, that game is a cheat. And Polly's like, yeah, I think you're really smart, but, like, you're a little obsessive. And Mars is like, oh, you know, thank you, you guys. Like, I really appreciate that. And I'll just leave it right there. But we're kind of getting close to the end. And then, like, you know, say, so, oh, like, you know, there's the, um, the, um, like, the, 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 the loser anniversary. And then Mars is like, Okay, Temple, I wasn't smart enough to beat you, but I can find the exit. And then, you know, Mars is like, okay, guys, I'm really sorry for laying you guys down, for failing you guys. I don't know when you guys, uh, sorry, I don't know when you guys are going to come back here, but I can't, maybe sort of like wait outside, but I can't go inside the temple walls like with you. And then, you know, Anne's like, don't worry, we'll manage somehow to, you know, charge the sun. And Spurk's like, <laughs> the loser arrows is so pointing. It points to the outhouse. I'm like, what? Is it? It is it? And then Marcy's like, why are we going to the outhouse? And it, Marcy like touches the toilet and hop up. Like I wouldn't recommend touch, touching that. Oh my goodness. And it's like Marcy like reaches it. Like, oh my goodness, this is where we charged the stone. And then hop up's like, well, but we failed. I'm, that's what that's what I'm saying. And then it says um you know um intelligence is important, but humility. Is more important, and it's like, and then it's like a little casual at the end. Oh, I mean, honestly, isn't that the reason why we do things in the end or something? And and it's like, like that sounds really casual. And uh, this is supposed to be an ancient temple. Why are you acting casual? Whatever. Um, I might be nitpicking at this point, but Mars is like, oh, it was also testing for humility along with intelligence. Pause. Like, do not let the temple change its mind. Charge it. And then Mars is charging the sun. We see the gem glow in her eyes the decrease. Like, I really hope she gets like whatever energy she gets back. Because remember when Anne's like eyes glowed? And we saw Mars's eyes glowed once too. But like, if Anne's is gonna like. Oh, yeah, because Marcy. Uh, not Marcy. Anne fought off that mantis and it actually glowed. So Marcy only glowed once for us. Unless we get a flashback. I really hope Marcy gets that glow back because. That'll be kind of, that'll be kind of lame that Mar Anne gets to use it twice, but Marcy doesn't. And has Sasha used hers? I don't think so. Unless we get a flashback of her using it, like Toad Tower, or on the run, who knows? Um, and it basically decreases her, you know, um, her like like her energy, and like her calamity energy. And it's like, oh, hey, we did it! And then pff, it's like shooting a beam. And it's like. Oh, it's leading us to the second, second temple, probably. I had to triangulate the new location. Is it okay? Come on, everyone, let let's go. And then Hop Hop accidentally steps on Anne, the Anne's foot. Is it? Oh my goodness, Anne! I'm so sorry. And then Anne's like, Hop Hop, I know you didn't mean to. I know you didn't really mean it. It's okay. And then Hop Hop's like, Thank you, Anne, but I need to be more careful where I step. And then, so we're probably like, let's go, guys. So this is game very awkward. And and Hop Hop say at the same time, we're working on it. And then Mars is like, do you guys want to go to Second Temple now, or do you want to take a break? Break, please. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have those filler episodes. And then, um, they fly off. And then we get to Newtopia. This is kind of interesting. General Yunnan mentions that the Frog Rebellions. Do we get to see those? I really want to. Because the last time we talked about that, that was in, um, the Ballad of Hopadiah Planter. But, um... And you basically, um, a giant general unit is like, oh, this is a small valley uprising, but now it's becoming something more. And then you're the, oh, the, 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 the toad lords are agreeing to meet with the fugitive Captain Grime. I was like, oh, Grime? That's interesting. Sasha with him. And then the king is just like, oh, how disappointing. It's like, he's not, he's being nonchalant about everything. Well, what's going on with you? Is it a proposition or something? I keep on mentioning that. And then, and then you know, oh, oh, and Johnny is like, oh, Captain Grime, the traitor, is being aided by a. Then this B messenger uh, comes in. It's like, and he puts on his uh, coral glasses. I really love those. 
Oh, it's a message from Marcy. Oh, it looks like this. she's making progress. You know, that's enough, Yunnan. Like, I have business to attend to. I I'll handle everything. And General Yunnan's like, sir? And then he goes to the statue. Is that like his father, grandfather, great-grandfather? Who knows? And he kind of moves, like, the this coral part. And it opens, like, a door. He gets, like, a torch. And he goes down. I, I think the door closes behind him. I'm not sure. And then we see this shadow fish again. And it, it's, like, afraid of King Andrew, So we did just squirm away. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Then he goes to this basement. He puts his crown in a circle. Kind of bows to it. Or whatever is in there. He's like, oh, like the prophecy is being undone as we speak, my lord. He says, like, soon we'll, we will have our revenge. Did we see this robotic thing make a noise? Is eight or nine eyes open? And that's the end of the episode. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now it was episode 14, the first temple. Um, what would I rate this episode? Let me see. Um, Wait, wait, hold on. Did I miss something? <coughs> um, hmm. Okay, nine point five. Seven point five. Hmm. Seven. Sorry, it's, yeah, I'm just you know counting everything. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Let's see seven.
I give this an eight. Yeah, I, I know it's kind of whispering like, you know, like seven, but kind of rethinking some things. And this was an eight. This was a great episode. This is just a couple of things that I wish it was handled better. And then hop hop with the whole and say like, um, like you know, maybe I spoke too soon thing. That should have been fixing after the rain. Like kind of thinking of and then fully forgive hop hop and then coming back in this episode. I think it would have been better. So that was something. And not remembering Flipport, even though Grime told her about it, it told her and Sasha about it te technically, that was also something. Um, Marcy, there was a thing where I thought she was gonna be kind of devious in this episode. I was a little bit, I was kind of looking, you know, kind of expecting that that didn't show up. But so that was also something. Um, So, but overall, this was a great episode, but straight B, 80%, not B+, plus, but it was great overall. And, um, and also we, we got the thing at the end with, um, <laughs> um, King Andreas and, um, that robot thing. Oh my goodness, what, what the heck was that? But, um, and Jaren Yunan talking about the frog rebellions with, you know, Captain... Captain Grime with Sasha, you know, coming coming to terms with the the Toad Lords gonna do a meeting. We can see that. That that'd be pretty cool. But um yeah, everyone don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, don't forget to share the video. Wait, subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell. Um don't for, don't forget to share I probably did it in the wrong order. Hold on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share the video. And I'll see you guys possibly later today for another, you know, um, video. Yeah, it's still kind of early. And it's Sunday. So, yep. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, see you guys then. Okay. Bye.